Hi moms, my name is Samantha. I'm 28 years old and currently 37 weeks pregnant with a little boy. Uh, my question for you is, what is something that I should expect after having the baby? And uh, what is something that you wish you knew or that someone had told you about postpartum? Thank you so much for your help. Hey moms. Um, my two postpartum experiences were wildly different from one another. Um, so I find it really difficult to give sort of one piece of advice in terms of postpartum and, you know, physical recovery. Um, but what I will say is, you know, we all know that phrase, um, it takes a village to raise a child. And I truly think there's nothing that's more true. Um, but unfortunately in our culture today, I feel like those villages are pretty much gone, even pre-pandemic. I imagine, you know, moms going through postpartum now um, in the middle of a global pandemic are finding it even harder um, without friends and family um, that are able to come over. But my, my piece of advice would be to find your village. Um, sometimes, you know, that's friends. Sometimes it's family. Maybe it's friends who have kids or maybe it's a group of, you know, really sympathetic friends who don't have kids. Hey girls, um, okay. Postpartum stuff I wish I knew. Um, uh, I guess one thing that sticks out is I thought I thought <laughs> that if I breastfed that the baby weight I had put on would just like, I don't know, magically disappear and melt off, which didn't happen. It took about a year to get back to my original weight. Um, I'm sure if you're younger, it's easier. I was 32 when I had my daughter. Guys, so for me, postpartum was um, the one thing that kind of surprised me was I chose not to breastfeed, so I just assumed like this area was all taken care of because I chose not to do that. Um, and it turns out that your body still wants to do it. So um, at about I don't know, like three days after giving birth, all of a sudden I started leaking. My boobs were rock hard; they literally felt like rocks, and I was like freaking out. So I called the nurse. She said that I needed to wear like a sports bra, not to touch them, and to like avoid all water when you're in the shower. Um, so I had no idea. Nobody ever told me that if you don't use them, that stuff's still gonna happen. Uh, so I think for me, that was like the biggest surprise. So I suffered from postpartum depression and anxiety, and I waited way too long um, to seek any sort of help. Um, so, my other piece of advice um, would be that if anything feels off, um, if you don't feel right, please talk to your doctor um, right away. Um, I was so worried um, about being, you know, judged by my doctor um, or my friends and family for some of the feelings I was having, um, which of course wasn't the case at all. Um, so, you know, I really urge anyone that, you know, might be struggling postpartum in that way um, to really just get help as soon as possible. You don't have to feel like this. Um, there are so many moms who have been, you know, right where you are, um, and you will feel better. Um, you won't feel like this forever, um, and there is help out there. So, you know, definitely reach out um, to, you know, someone close to you um, if, you know, you need that extra support when you go to your doctor. Um, you know, maybe it's a spouse, uh, maybe it's a close friend or family member, um, but reach out and talk to someone um, and go to your doctor and get help because um, you will feel better. The other thing that really surprised me about postpartum that nobody told me about was that you have to do both one and two before you leave the hospital. Nobody ever told me that. Um, like everything as far as birth wasn't, you know, involved enough. Then some nurse comes up to me and she's like, okay, so you're gonna have to do one and two. Let me know when you do, you know, one, because um, I have something you have to pee in. And I was like, what? I'm just like, yeah, so you're gonna have to like do that. Let me know because I have to be there. Um, so I pretty much sat there and went to the bathroom and she is like, it was like I was taking like a drug test or I was in prison. I don't know, like she's kind of like side eyeing me, like making sure that I wasn't like cheating, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, I had to hand it to her. She had to like look at the container. I don't know. It was really weird, very uncomfortable. And then she asked me to spill it out. And then she's like, okay, well, once you do a number two, just let me know. I don't have to be there for that, but you have to do that before you leave. So I don't want to freak anybody out, but you think birth is bad. 
there's so much more that happens. And then I would say um, something else in postpartum is maybe like six or eight months after I had my daughter, I felt so overwhelmed at work and just, I guess at home too, more so work was really taking a toll on me. Um, and I finally went and saw a doctor and got on like some medication kind of just to take the edge off. And that helped a lot. And I took that for maybe like three months. So it wasn't until I met with the doctor that they were like, yeah, you know, it's probably like a little bout with postpartum depression. And I just assumed, cause I, I didn't know, I just assumed that if you're gonna have postpartum depression, it'll happen like right after you have the baby. I mean, and I know some people that have had a hell of a time with postpartum depression where they've, you know, ended up in the hospital. It, it's just been a fiasco. So I guess for me, it just felt like I was overwhelmed and I wasn't handling things well. And there's different, I guess, areas of the spectrum that that can go on as far as what postpartum depression is. So I, again, I guess the two things that I wish I had known about were one, you know, the weight's not just gonna fall off because you're breastfeeding, you know, you have to eat better and be active. And then two, I guess, just be aware, you know yourself better than anyone, when you, I mean, your hormones will still be out of whack, but I guess you just want to be able to recognize when maybe you need to ask for help. So good luck, mamas. There are, you know, lots of message boards and groups online where you might be able to find some support and resources, um, maybe even right here in Ask the Moms. Um, you can find your very own village. Um, it's just so helpful to have a group of moms who have been there, who have been there recently, um, that you can go to uh, when you're, you know, questioning things or just had a really long day or a really long night of not sleeping. Um, sometimes you don't even need advice and you just need someone to sympathize with you.